In a survey taken at the University of Texas at El Paso, students were asked a series of questions on their own opinions of child obesity. Here's what they had to say. My name is Edward Rodriguez. I'm an accounting major here at UTEP, and I feel that child obesity is not a form of child abuse because it's, you know, the parents aren't directly uh, abusing their child. I mean, the reason why I feel that most of the time they this issue has came up is because, well, you know, kids nowadays, they have, uh, they have uh, technology at their dispense, you know, they have the iPad, they have the iPod Touch, they have their iPhone, their mother's iPhone, they have, uh, you know, the PS3, the Xbox 360, the new Xbox One, or whatever new game came out. Uh, they also, you know, watch TV all the time, they also have their, their computer, like, technology is good. Hi, my name's Matt, and I'm a physical therapist, and I believe that uh, child obesity is not necessarily a form of child abuse, however I do feel it is uh, certain, it does have to do with a certain level of neglect on the part of the parents, uh, I believe it's the parents' responsibility to take care of their children to the best of their ability, uh, and only providing them with safety and a place to stay, but also with um, proper nutrition and uh, healthy ways of living that promote uh, their, their healthy lives. Hi, my name is Beyonce Armandadis, and I'm a sophomore biology major. Um, I think that for the Mexican culture, obesity is, is not necessarily like a concern. I think that Mexican food is very, you know, kind of fattening and everything's greasy and, and a lot of times um, eating food um, on the table, like, you're not allowed to do that. I know when I was a kid, I would go and eat, even if I wasn't, if I wasn't hungry, if I was completely full, like, I was never allowed to leave any food on my plate, you don't waste food at all. Caroline, how would you describe your childhood? How um, how was your diet as a child? Um, did your mother, you know, take you to go exercise? Were you a part of any, you know, sports leagues over there in, in, in your country? Yeah, I a way to exercise, main, uh, making something that I like. And about my food when I was trying to is it's this same food that I, that I eat today. With salads and vegetables and meat and rice. Here I can eat beans because it's so difficult to find the beans that I like. But it's a very good to make food. What are parents' thoughts on child obesity? In your opinion, do you think uh, child obesity is a form of child abuse? Um, it just really depends on the situation. I think that if it's, you know, the mother or the father, you know, knowing that the child is sick and they don't do anything about it or that they're morbidly obese um, and they keep feeding the child, then it could be a form of child abuse. But um, I think there's just a lot of that goes into it. As far as you know, the child's activities or um, just his genetic buildup, so it just really depends on the situation. How do parents avoid child obesity? Fast food like Chick Fil A. We don't like McDonald's. Chick Fil A has a great menu. Instead of fried chicken nuggets, you can get grilled chicken nuggets. So we try to balance it with them. If they're going to get the French fries, then they're going to get the grilled nuggets. If they're going to get the fried nuggets, then they're going to get the applesauce. 
So they get a little bit of everything, so it's not over controlling, but it's a better balanced diet in that sense. But as I mentioned, we do limit fast foods to probably twice a month. Stop child obesity. 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 Stop child obesity.